All right, there's uh, some people out there trying to make the case that humans should be vegetarian or vegan because of our evolutionary past, but is that supported by any kind of evidence at all? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker. Today we're gonna to show you some evidence that you go visit, perhaps on vacation, that demonstrates that early humans literally thrived on meat as we certainly can today. All right, the first example is this jawbone of a mammoth in the Museum of the Rockies in Montana. Now the jawbone is the earliest evidence that humans were hunting woolly mammoths in the United States about 12.3 thousand years ago. In fact, the earliest evidence of humans in Americas is in New Mexico, which where fossilized footprints have been found dating back as far as 23,000 years ago. And a University of Oxford study makes the case that early humans were in the Americas as early as 30,000 years ago during the Ice Age. So what do you think humans ate during the Ice Age? Mangoes and bananas are five a day, balanced diet, eat the rainbow? I don't think so. The term megafauna means a very large, often fatty animal. The mammoth at Museum Rockies was estimated to be 14 feet tall at the shoulder with nine foot long tusks. And this is what these people hunted and ate. The evidence goes back even further, all the way back to our earliest ancestor, Australopithecus, who was thought to have eaten meat as far back as 3.4 million years ago. Now, many people will point to chimpanzees as our closest relatives to humans and try to make the case that since they eat plants, our ancestors clearly must have been on a plant-based diet. But is that even true? In fact, chimpanzees actually hunt the colobus monkey and love eating meat. Male chimps even use meat to negotiate with females in return for sex. Interesting. This is actually thought to be an example of how social contracts evolve, promoting communication, trading, and deeper relationships. Now, humans believe in that they can only live on plants is not a new idea, but it did not work out for some of the earliest ancestors of humans. An early group of humans in North America were known as the Clovis people and produced a specific type of stone point, which was believed to have been used to actually hunt mammoths. Modern scientist and hunter Ryan Gill recreated this type of point and used it to successfully hunt bison to test whether this theory was, was possible. The Smithsonian and many other museums in the U.S. have examples of original Clovis points that you can see. We can also note many other facts supporting the idea that humans evolved to eat meat, including we have a very acidic stomach, uh, and only true predators and scavengers also have that. We don't have a four-chambered stomach like a ruminant, as some vegans might suggest. Our eyes are focused forward like all other predators. Uh, we have formed relationships with other predators, such as dogs, over time to help us with hunting. So here's some real physical evidence and practical evidence that humans evolved while hunting and eating mostly meat. Now, it's no wonder why people on a carnivore diet are doing so well. Despite some attempts at plant-based scientists activists to revise history, looking at dental wear patterns and fecal lift, showing that the dental wear patterns are consistent with high fiber diets. However, we have to realize that their teeth are often used to work leather and other things where, where wear could have certainly happened. So that's at best speculative when we have a mountain of evidence that suggests that we were predominantly meat eaters, particularly during the Ice Age. You know, can you imagine living in North America, you know, in Europe during Ice Ages and trying to be vegetarian? It just makes zero sense at all. Okay, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see evidence about how eating plants will not miraculously help with anything, check out my video up here. All right, guys, thanks a bunch, and we'll see you on the next one.